Good evening, brothers and sisters. This is my Friday, my time with God. Today, I spent some time with our women, celebrating Women's World Day of Prayer. And today's theme was such a wonderful theme as they were celebrating the countries of England, Wales and North, Northern Ireland. And the text was taken from the book of Jeremiah 29 verse 11, the well-known text that says, that says, For I know the plans I have for you. Now dear brothers and sisters, during this, since last week, we've heard about the invasion of Russia into the country of Ukraine. We also heard about countries that is implementing sanctions against Russia, other countries that are abstaining. But through it all, what I've learned today from the powerful message of, of this day of Women's World Day of Prayer, and also the sticks, it reminds me that God is always in control of our lives. And that God gave us even today across the whole world this wonderful promise from the book of Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. And this text was chosen a year ago, not knowing about the turmoil and the war that will take place in the Ukraine country. But God is just telling us and reminding us, He has plans for us. He knows everything. He knows our heart's desires. He knows our pains. He knows our worries. And even when we look at the war between Russia and the Ukraine, everybody is suddenly talking about war, World War III that is soon going to break out. But we have to ask ourselves, is that the plans that the Lord has for us? When you also listen to the radios and the television and you read also the newspapers, you will see and find out that Ukraine is not even afraid of what is happening and what Russia is doing. Although Russia is such a powerful country and want to destroy this small little country, they unite in prayer. And I want to encourage you as well, also, dear brothers and sisters, that whatever you are facing with, whatever you are going through, do know and stand on the promise of the Lord, that the Lord, that the Lord has plans for you. And what is the Lord saying according to Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11? He has plans for us to prosper and not to harm us. So when you think about the war in Russia, in sorry, in the Ukraine, you must also know that that is part of God's plan for humanity. But also that God knows that he's in control of that little, that small little country. And through the war, God is going to reveal great things to the world and also to us. So stand on that promise every day of your life, knowing that God has a plan for your life. God has a plan for the world and God even has a plan through this war between Russia and the Ukraine. There's always something good that God will allow us to experience. Now I was again reminded while I was sitting and listening to the readers and to the different stories throughout and the witnesses um, today in the Women's World Day of Prayer, I was myself reminded of what God can do and how God can use a bad situation to turn it to his glory. Now, the book of Ephesians is, is reminding every day for us that God can do exceedingly abundantly above all that we are thinking and all that we are planning. That is the God that we are serving and that is the God that we have to call upon even in a time of crisis. Do not Worry, dear brothers and sisters, whatever you are going through today, whatever you went through yesterday, whatever worries you have about the day of tomorrow or about your own future, do not be so worried 
because God has great plans for you. God has great plans for me and plans that will not harm us and plans that will not destroy us, but plans to give us a bright future and plans to prosper us. Now, I want to challenge you and I want you to meditate on this text from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 11, to remind yourself that God knows the plans that he has for you and for me. And the plans that God has is a promise of everlasting love and grace and also plans that will prosper in our lives. So whatever a weapon is formed against you in your situation today, whatever weapon is formed against Ukraine today or in any other country where there's war, do know that weapon will not prosper because that is not part of God's plan for us. Let us meditate on this verse from the book of Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 and remind ourselves that we are serving an awesome God, a great God, a good God, a loving and gracious God. Join me right now, dear brothers and sisters, as we pray, not only for our own situation, but also for the people living in the country of Ukraine. Join me as we pray unto God and reveal, so that God can reveal His great plans for us as His loving children. O oh, Heavenly Father, in this evening, we give you glory, honor, and praise. We give you, we come before you, Lord, in, and we stand in front of you with that great expectation, knowing, Lord, that you know everything that we are going through. You know our pains. You know what makes us sad. You know, Lord, what makes us happy. But through it all, Lord, you know what we want in life. Lord, we come and we stand in union with the rest of the world as we pray for the country of Ukraine as they are at, under attack by this mighty nation, Russia. But thank you, Lord, for your word this evening from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 11. For you know the plans that you have for each and every one of us. Thank you, Lord, that you know the plans that you have for the country of Ukraine and for the country of Russia. And that is plans, Lord, to prosper and not to harm them. Yes, Lord, we stand in agreement this evening with the rest of the world, with all Christians across the globe. As we pray and intercede for the country of Ukraine, we also pray and intercede for our own lives, Lord, that you will come and reveal your own plans for us, to show us, Lord, that you, are, you don't want to harm us, but you love us and you care for us. And that is why you give us this wonderful promise in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 11, for you know the plans that you have for us, plans of a hopeful future and plans to prosper us. <laughs> Thank you, Heavenly Father, that we in this evening know that you are our God and that you and that we can trust you in every situation. Yes, Lord, how dark the situation also might be, you are in charge. Come and fill us, Lord, with your Holy Spirit. In times of darkness, Lord, and in times of turmoil, you are there. And the last song, Lord, that we were singing today in the Women's World Day of Prayer was, Lord, make us a channel of your peace. Thank you, Lord, that you want to use us as your instruments to proclaim peace across the world. Yes, Lord, and that is what we are praying and interceding for. And we pray, Lord, even when we go and rest in this evening, that you will give us a peaceful rest. And when the new day comes, that we will glorify your wonderful name. Thank you. This we pray in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, I want to challenge you this evening. Continue to stand on the promise of the Lord. Continue to stand in agreement of the promises of the Lord. And know that the Lord has uh, plans for you and for your life, plans to make you prosper. This is my Friday, my time with God. Have a blessed day, a blessed evening. Stay safe and be blessed. I thank you very, very much.